Sure. Oh, under, you know, this sheet is taken. Would you, uh, would it perhaps be available if I bought you another drink, my friend? So I have money enough. Go ahead. All right. He will, he will order in a drink for the good man as well. Something of the more stronger kind than he's currently drinking. Uh, as he will, uh, as he will sit down. And, uh, and talk to him. And he will say, um, uh, my good man, I have, uh, I, I take it from your uh, general demeanor that you are quite skilled and knowledgeable about the surrounding countryside, yes? This, I've been around, yeah. You know, What's it to you? I, uh, I was, have been some time since I traveled these parts. And uh, I would, uh, I would like to perhaps uh, learn a little bit from from someone with your vast experience. Yes, uh, so sure. Begin intrigue. <laughs> well, he's currently not resisting your questions. Okay. Yes. Um, he sort of, as as he does, he observes the man quite a bit, looking for. He's particularly he's looking. Sort of for, missing an eye, uh, the patch over it, covering up, but not entirely the, the deep scar, uh, likely from a, a rather deep wound, maybe a spear or a sword, a slash, mm -hmm. or something like that. Certainly, he's been in battle before. All right. He will, he will continue to ask. Yes, on our, on our way here, we have, uh, we found uh, traces of an assaulted uh, merchant uh, caravan, supposedly. Um, he sort of he describes the area a little bit, and then he asks him, uh, "What what would be your uh, take on this? Where would such um, such uh, uh, people that uh, uh, performed this deed be hiding? Would you think?" So I says, oh, they ain't no merchants. I can tell you that much." Oh. Is if they're the people that I found, then, uh, well, they didn't seem like merchants to me, at least. No goods, only one horse. Now tell me more. This is interesting. Well, I saw the horse on the road. Thought I might as well take it. So, so I'm carrying in there. I took a few things. Just uh, things they wouldn't need anymore. Sort of smiles. Is this man lying? Really with that. Is is this man lying? Um, can I can I do like an empathy check or something? That would be the awareness empathy. Yeah, you do awareness empathy. Uh, to your knowledge, he seems to be bragging a little bit, actually. That he that he's taken all the goods. Well, he seems to enjoy knowing something that you don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, he's, I'm going to keep playing on this and be suitably impressed, of course, and uh, and continue to ask. Um, so, no merchants. Well, what, what do you what would you believe then they were? Well, they, I didn't really check, but uh, but there have been a fella, I mean, strange men at the time. They weren't from here. He stayed here for a while. So I didn't like him. They were very cold. Didn't say a lot. Hmm. Talk to the girl. Looks uh, to Diana, who clearly listening, sort of quickly moves a little away, to not mm -hmm. seem to be listening. Says uh, she didn't give him what they wanted. I see. Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. If um, uh, you, all right, so all right, so that, that's that's quite interesting. So they're not. Mm -hmm. um, Perhaps the men killed them. The ones you found. You've been strange walking around, hired. I asked to help, but uh, apparently the job did not uh, cover for locals. Just mm. scuffs. I could have done it. Just don't know what it was. What do you think it was? Well, weren't kidding, killing armed men, that's for sure. Would uh, it seems then that they, uh, it could perhaps have been related to the um, to the attack on the peasant village we heard about, sort of motioning towards the bar, you know, when where Moleskin was screaming. <laughs> yes, rocks. I suppose they ain't were they weren't wearing uh, sigils or anything like that when they were here, at least. 
No, I would imagine not. Yeah, you rarely, you rarely, you rarely would in such a in such a profession or in such a mission. I would, I would assume. Sure. Regardless, I know who hired there. Uh, well, some of the strange men who came from the uh, from the road. Oh. So it looks as uh, if my information would be of your interest. That would, yes, perhaps. Sort of, uh, sort of. Put a uh, half-empty bag of uh, money on the on the table and say, "I. If only I had a few more days here to relax my mind. Mm -hmm. But I sadly don't have the money to stay for long. I have to find new work soon." Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, uh, and and Amanda nods slowly and says, "Well, that is certainly a predicament. Perhaps we can help each other then." Says, uh, "If you." If you fill up my pocket a little bit, maybe I, maybe I wouldn't have to, to worry about so many things. Mm -hmm. I could even take the time to talk a little further. How much uh, pocket filling would he, uh, would he want? I'm not really sure. It seems that he has, he has silver in the, in the thing. How much is in the bag? If I just give a, a quick look, um, yeah. it seems they're about uh, twenty, forty. So, so it's a nice sum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Amanda nods and says, "Well, perhaps, uh, uh, perhaps another twenty silver would uh, would uh, relax your." Uh... That would simply put a uh, a bit of a a damper on my worries. Yes. If only what? I had it in my wallet, then maybe I could. Uh... <laughs> you know, and Amanda sort of fishes around in his uh, in his uh, coat. And they pulls out a small, uh, a small coin purse uh, as he puts on the table. Well, I'll take it and sort of, sort of, uh, just, I never wear a man for bargaining. Uh, now, Michelle leans forward and says, uh, this man, they call him the Fox Knight. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> an invisible glare from an Amanda to Arwen. Hawk is yeah. kind of... He seemed like, like a religious type to me. Like glasses. He wasn't very friendly. Asked if I could hire him, and he said no. It would be an easy job, perhaps too easy for me even. Didn't believe him. The people that were with him seemed pretty uh, hard. Only talked to the girl, though. I didn't hear what they said. He says, uh, didn't trust him. I don't know. He seemed like sour wine. Hmm. Like sour wine. Um, did he have any uh, sigils or collars on him? Yeah, he got the fox. Oh no, not fox. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is certainly interesting. He, uh, and Amanda will just you know ask a, a quick question of of Garth if he can describe the sigil. Would he describe it as yeah. House Malfoy? He'll, he'll try to describe it. And no, not exactly. Okay. Is it not mm -hmm. black, and black, red, white? No, it it is it is uh, I believe sort of green and then with a yellow fox on it. Ah, it's rampant. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. A rampant fox. Rampant but the wrong color. Ah. Oh. Uh, very faded. It didn't seem like that shield had been done much to for a long time. Hmm. Hedge knight, perhaps. If he's travelling on the road for a long time and don't have a liege lord, uh, so, uh, such fadings can certainly be quite normal, yes. Lords, slowly. I... Yeah. Just shrugs. You, uh, you have been. If, uh, if you want, by the way, to to see if you know the, the description, yeah. you can try a knowledge, knowledge, education, or status heraldry. Knowledge, education, or status heraldry. I would, I would go for a status. Yeah. <laughs> status. Uh... You don't have heraldry as a skill, probably. So. Harkus just doesn't try to even think. That was really poor. Role. He just looks at the others like. What is heraldry? It's, it's just if you have a specialty. specialty. Yeah. If you don't, then it's just the base. It's just, yeah, status. It's just base status. What status is pretty good. Five. Six. She has six. six. Oh, six. Oh, shit. So she has the highest. Six, six die. Six die. She might as well show you up right. I rolled 
No, no, just show, show it right. Yeah. Sure, let's go, status. Why not? Might as well. Hey! All right. Well, the two little nobleborns will, uh, <laughs> will recognize this from their, their training. It is not a very well-known house, though. Uh, what they think it sounds like is House Arche, uh, which is a dead or dying house that served Mace Tyrell uh, and fought for the Targaryens in the Civil War. And, also, and, and, and so did House um, Dennett. Hmm. 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 Old allies forming a new. Hmm. Are you seeing a pattern here? Yeah. I am, yes. Uh, all right, yeah. Uh, Andromander will, will nod and, and tell God that he has been very helpful. And he certainly appreciates it. As he sort of, you know, if, if Garth doesn't seem to have anything else to share. Not a whole lot. No, he, he will get up, you know, on his can and, say, and tell Garth that if he in the future look, is looking for work, uh, perhaps uh, he should seek Anamander out in the Trevelyan uh, keep of uh, Ashfall. Yeah, sure. A man of his talents could, be, could become useful in the future. In a month. <laughs> in All a right. month. <laughs> so you're not going to be there for I'll a while. I'll do just that. Excellent. Sit Have a good day. And now I'll be right back. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, so Anna, you, re you really seem to dislike dislike me, you know, mistake mistake mistaking me for House Arche. Uh, Anamander, you know, looks very stern for a second, and then you know he he sort of you know, the frown sort of eases a bit as he looks to uh, Maltron and said, "I uh, I will confess that uh, when he said the fox, that was the first thing that came to my mind. Uh, but as you all kindly informed me." I was wrong, and I do appreciate it. Yes. Is our house uh, a fox? Yes, their symbol is their symbol is a red is a white fox. Yeah. Mm. Or they had a green and um, yellow one. Yeah. So it's different colours. My my full house's symbol for your knowledge would be that. Yeah. Okay. Very specific. Yeah. Yeah. Harkus, yeah, Harkus looks to. Uh, and Amanda says, uh, "Well, I, I hope I've, uh, uh, I've shown you my martial prowess. I, I know you were looking to, uh, to see it in action uh, before we got to the tournament." And Amanda smiles. It is certainly a sight to behold. Mm. A kind of smirk crawls on his face, but he tries to hold it back. But you just, you just Don't, see, he can't uh... help it. Don't let it, try not to let it go to your head, uh, Harkus. The tournament will be at the gathering of the most skilled warriors in all of the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, even your prodigious skill would be, it would be a terrible waste if something, um, if you got uh, knocked out because of being too um, proud. Smiles. Harkus. You, you have all, you've had a lot of time to train from what you've told us, but... You haven't you haven't had the utility to do so, unlike me, the nobles there. Hmm. All I had was uh, the boat deck, and uh, boat I, deck. I I travelled the narrow deck. sea for for a while, and my uh, the man who trained me he he, uh, he kept me on his boat for a while, and we we trained on the deck. He uh, he would spar with me, teach me how to place my feet. How to hold my sword, and later on, as we came onto dry land and started travelling, he taught me how to use a shield uh, with my sword, and and uh, sadly he passed away. With childish curiosity, I would will be like asking you about like where did you travel to, and you know, you're asking you to describe locations he hasn't been to. Yeah, Harkas will uh, will explain, and be be happy of it. Hey, you know. I have He's no idea about. how much movement I have. Not much. Not much. You probably uh, have three, the same I believe. Me. Hmm. You're, you're faster than Harkus, and you're yeah. as fast as Anamanda. I'm still the quickest. Yeah. Harkus is slow, but... When he gets you're there... You're a slow death machine. I'm a slow death machine, yeah. It, with all this bulk and, uh, and sheer weight, it's hard to move about. 
You need winding up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the squire has to come in and pick, uh, like, pick up my shoulder, like two on each shoulder to push me up. Ah. <laughs> uh. Possibly we're lacking squires here for you. We are like lacking squires. He he has to roll out of bed. It's only because you wear armor, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's, his armor's too heavy. He like he trains and uh, like he finishes training at night and he, he just falls asleep in his armor, wakes up, get uh, gets like a uh, like a wash like once a week because this is like middle ages, isn't it? So the rest of the time he's just in his armor. And, that that's pretty much it. I have armor to take my armor off. You have full plate though. It's a bit. It's uh, you have. You also you have, have armor have... mastery though. Sure. So. Yeah. yeah, she's a master at wearing. Very it. good at wearing it. Yeah, you're very good at wearing it. He, he Harkers will will inform you of. He's only been wearing armor since he joined, uh, joined the house. He was trained without armor, only a sword and shield. And, you know, Nadia, even though full plate requires, you know, someone to help. Put it on and off. You know, you have a squire for a reason, right? Exactly. Well, uh, Harkers can put on his his armor on his own. Uh, uh, it takes on your, his own. Takes you a while. Yeah, it takes him a bit longer. But with like full plate, you just can't do it. There's you need someone like else to no do the way. straps. Yeah, yeah. There's like no physical way for you to put half plate, uh, full plate on on your own. Well, half plate's pretty difficult as well. Half plate's very difficult, but it's possible, maybe. But full plate just not happening. No. And what Harkus is wearing is like a step below, so... Great conversations while we're waiting for the spy master. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking right, are there many other people or is this literally everyone in the room? There's everyone right now. Yeah. Okay. So it's not very busy. No. no. She was moment. so annoying, that palmy. We are the <laughs> highlight of the show. We are the highlight of the show. Does she even know? She's just some barmaid. <laughs> uh, pride. Yeah. Oh. But it's true. <laughs> is this tavern like alone on the road, or is that like a village right with it? No, it's just alone. Okay. It's just a rest oh. stop. Forever alone. <laughs> I mean, it's the only one that's within day's travel, so yeah. yeah. Or travel comes, stays here, or in, in like on the, on the road, which is you know generally most people like to sleep inside in the bed and have food. Mm -hmm. People don't pack for. Most people can't pack for carrying that much as they would need. We have we luckily have lots of horses. Yeah. But yeah, five horses to four people, that's pretty good. Yeah, one's basically a pack mule at this point. Well, well mine has like settle bags as well, so it's fine. Did anything happen when I was gone? No. Mainly just, mainly, mainly discussing all the places Harkers has travelled to throughout the sea. Yeah. Alright, well. And what barmaids know. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of what Bar barmaids know, I should probably have a talk with the barmaid. You want her to warm your bed for the night, Uncle? Mm <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, no matter of frowns. I wonder if anyone else has heard of activity from Hellchild House Archer. L lo looking at the barmaid and then Shaggy said, she is, she is but a child. What do you take me for? She's 14, but you know, she's pretty. <laughs> she's a young adult. I would more I would more worry about young Arwen uh, uh, making that offer to her than me, in all honesty. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Nadia no. raises an eyebrow at Arwen. Yeah, not in this lifetime. <laughs> and a sm smile at the point. I don't know quirks at eyebrow looking up for the. Oh, I see. <laughs> Harkus just chuckles. <laughs> I snicker as he walks away. So she's, she's taking up the broom after uh, after Dag left to the kitchen. Uh, he, will, he will walk with his cane closer to her and he will make sure that it clicks and clacks. So, you know, she. Yeah, she, 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 she seems to be very. She seems to have noticed you. Oh yeah, but he's you know, he's emphasizing like in a stern way. Yeah. You know, this is the headmaster coming to. <laughs> Milord, is there anything you wish? 
I would uh, like you to uh, tell me a little bit of what has happened here over the, uh, over the last few days. I heard that you were accosted by a few men a couple of, a couple of nights ago, yes? Yes, my lord. They were not very nice. They had come from the road, same way you came from, and, and, and they, they were going back up there. They were going back up there, you say? Interesting. Yes, my lord. They met with a man here who <coughs> they, 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 they spoke to. Could you tell me a little bit about, about this man? So, well, when he arrived, he, he shooed me away and said I should leave. So I never got a really good look on him. Um, <laughs> and Amanda smiles and says, well, my, my dear girl, someone as attentive as you surely got a good look. She, he was wearing a shield with a fox on it. And he, he looked like a knight. Yes. Would you say he looked uh, similar in knighthood to uh, the good, uh, the good Sir uh, Dr Drayden over there, pointing with the cane towards Harkis? I'm a knight. Yes, but you're you're a lord. You're a lord. So, no, he was much older than that. Nods. How? Uh, he will basically try to get, you know, get a description of her, like asking how old he was, the hair color, eyes. Yeah, he was uh, he was rather. The tall man looked looked sort of serious and dour. Uh, his hair was hidden by sort of a chain coif, really. Mm -hmm. But she would assume it's sort of dark, uh, even if his his mustache was was already graying. Mm -hmm. Very very sort of uh, and flat face. Generally. Flat face. Did she hear? Did she hear anything specifically he was talking about? No, he shooed her too far away for her, for her to, to be able to listen. She went upstairs to, to take care of the rooms. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to stay here. Mm. They call him the Fox Knight. The Fox Knight, yeah. So she didn't hear anything particularly about where they were going or what they were doing? No, all, all she did hear the men talk about, though, they, they said that... Well, yes. Um, they said that they were talking about the king. Oh. They said that he shouldn't be the king, that he shouldn't be the one, that he wasn't good enough. And they said that his brother should have been the king. <gasps> they, they said that Lord Stannis should have been the king. Yes. I heard that myself. Hmm. I don't think so, though. I. It's been good times. I don't have anything against the king, Lord. He smiles. Of course not, my dear. Of course not. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. You have been most helpful. He will... Uh... Oh, um, my lord, she turns yes. around. One of them had a sword. But it had a a stag on it. Hermandis slowly nods and says, "I see. Uh, hold on. Uh, for uh, would you would you come with me to the stables quickly? We have a I have a sword. Lord, I would I, like to look at you." Is... <laughs> I don't think she will go with you to the stables. Intimidated. It's uh, it's uh, I'm not supposed to do that sort of thing, my lord. <laughs> it's inappropriate. I just... He, I he just blinks. take care of the customers in in sort of sort of blushes. He 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 he, he, he like blinks for a second like no no. If he oh says girl. if he get, get over yourself, it is not that. If he says it uh, loud enough, Harkis will get up and say, "I'll get it, my lord." Uh, and he'll he'll go out. Uh, Garth just keeps watching. Take a sword out of the saddlebag. Come back. He looks uncomfortable with the uh, sword. Hands, uh, hands him the sword and uh, goes back to his seat. Yeah, he shows her the sword. <laughs> I think both young lords do. Mm. So, uh, she, oh, young people. That's the one. 
Is it this one specifically? Just yes, I'm almost entirely sure. Mm. All right. So, so what's where did you happen? get it? We found it uh, near a um, a uh, attacked uh, camp, uh, a uh, half a day or so away from here, up the road. The men were dead. The sword was among the remains. So not slowly. We're going to bring it to the king. Yep. Right. Thank you. He, uh, he, he, you know, puts a silver on the table next to her. Come back, and Nadia and I want to just smiling. <laughs> just <a> giggling. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's a snigger. It's, you know, it's reserved. Trying to hold it back. Yeah. And Amanda shoots your glass. Not a word. <laughs> Okay, that would cause Arwen to break out with a small chuckle for a second. Yeah, <laughs> Harkus, will, too. Harkus will actually give a genuine smile. You haven't seen a genuine smile from him yet. It's, it's, it's like seeing a rock face crack open. Yeah, it's pretty much, it, it feels awkward for him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her, har, har. Oh god, now chat's coming up with a pickup line for you. Yep. <laughs> I have, uh, lying, really? it, it's the it's the lusty Argonian maid all over again. My cane has a lot of hidden tricks. Would you like to <laughs> come with me to the stables? Wink, wink. I have a sword. I would like uh, you to take a look at. Uh, <laughs> it's shorter than a long sword, but longer than a short sword. <laughs> yeah, has hidden features. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, so what seems to have happened is the the Fox Knight mm -hmm. has people with him. Mm. They're gonna do some dirty business here. They are clowns. Yeah, they, would... they are, they're probably the ones who, who attacked the village. Yeah, yes. I, from what I can tell, probably they attacked the village. They are, you know, they're part of how or at least they're, they're remnants of House Arche. Yep. Um, who. Are probably working. I think he might be working alongside House Dennett. Possibly. Because House Dennett did also try and work for the Targaryen, Targaryen rule. I yep. don't like that. We, I already have two enemies on my enemies list and no allies. Yeah. <laughs> you, have you have us. us. You have us. I, I, I have a half ally written on my one, which is my house. Yeah. <laughs> at home, uh, Dennett and the Fox Knight. Yeah. So they have an issue with they have an issue with the current rule of the king. Um, um, they attack. They attack the village. Uh, they blame us for it. Because we have, yeah, you know, we have the opposing side. We are, we are because we are somehow opposed. They have, they have decided to try to make a play uh, to to take us out. P or... Possibly trying to just take us out because they can get land. Yeah. But didn't they just want uh, Stannis instead of? Uh, That's Robert? what Fox Knight wants. I think House Dennett. They're like a they're like a farming house. They probably want more land so they can farm. Yeah, they probably want more. They probably want more land. and might be using this as the opportunity, possibly. The thing is, we have we have a decent chunk of land. The thing is, with our <coughs> land, we don't have much farmers on it. They're like, no. well, our land is not very suited for farming. But admittedly, that type of farming is very unusual. Yeah, so it might actually. Well, give us a chance. <laughs> I know, right? They'll, they'll have they'll have to farm around the ruins, though. But you know, they they you know they're not nice people. No. Um, so, so, okay, so, so they hire Ally the Fox Knight with a, with a bit of his cronies to attack one of the villages. They trump it, they trump it up somehow to blame us. They, they make a huge fuss about it. And if, they ri if they're riding ahead of us all the way to King's Landing, if they start doing this proclamation all the way, it's gotta, it, we might run into trouble. Like, but this might be a thing at every inn we come to. Did they give Arwen ale here? I mean, if he wants, he I, says, I mean, <laughs> Arwen would have asked for ale. He's just a kid. Like, how if, old if is he? If he wanted something to drink, he would be offered ale. I mean, if, yeah. uh, how old is he? I mean, like two years younger than us, I think. I uh, no. Oh, oh, no, he changed himself. So he's no longer a yeah. Young, young, I'm, I'm not 16. Now. He's he's 22 now, so he's yeah, an adult. He made, uh, we're the only young ones here. Yeah, you're the well, young you're two years younger than me, right? Okay. Um, uh, how old is Nadia? 16. Uh, no, I'm not two years younger than you. I'm three or four. Just what's what's your age? <laughs> Just what's your age at this You're point? You twelve? Yes, twelve thirteen. Twelve thirteen. Uh, I don't have the sheet open in a second. Twelve thirteen. They really don't care. 
Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, you know, like this is the Middle bed. Ages. Kids yeah, Middle Ages. Why that's like, quite, like, quite common. Two, You're one, fucking three. a kid? <laughs> Twelve-year-old kid up to watch wolves? I hate it. No, we didn't You know it's many evil times. This is actually surprisingly common. Yeah. Yeah, it's still 12 years. 12 years old? Bah. They can start learning how to fight. <laughs> Wait, Arwen is 12? Yeah. yeah. Arwen's 12. My god. That's what I said. You push a 12-year-old kid towards wolves? I mean, no, he's just, just we... old enough to be, you know, called a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not even a, a young man. I mean, I mean in, a, in, a, in a few years, I'll be given responsibilities of adulthood. Yeah, at we 14, married off to he's someone. a full adult. <sighs> Alright, so, Fox, uh, Fox Nathan is cronies, together with House Dunnett, goes for a village, blames us, comes here after the deed is done, uh, <laughs> restocks, resupplies, deal. then heads out again. Uh, camps and something comes upon them in the camp, kills them off. The fox knight is gone. Uh, who knows where? Maybe he killed them off even. Uh, Garth the barrel finds the the camp and takes a few things, um, and and comes here. So something happened to the men. Maybe the fox knight took them out himself. He didn't need them anymore. Probably. Um, Possibly working for Adam Dennett. Yes. Um, handing him a shield or. Something. Or, or Adam Dannett had a, a shield of uh, House Trevelyan's crest on it made. That's not too hard to do, to be no. fair. So, it's not hard to it's, make one and say yeah. to a barmaiden, This is it! This, I mean, this is a shield it, with their it, crest it, on it. All the discrepancy, the barmaid wouldn't be able to tell. Exactly. No. We might be able to look at it, look against Harkus's shield, and go, Man! No. That's not a. Th Phoenix, that's a chicken, you idiot. Yeah, that's a chicken, clearly. <laughs> that that thing oh. has three claws, not four. What is House wrong with chicken. you? <laughs> House chicken. Uh, all right, all right. We, I, I think we have a decent grasp of what's gonna, gonna go on here. We should, uh, yeah. This should be an interesting tournament. Yes. Yes. Well, I hope that no one will make a... Uh... Bigger problem. You know, if if my brother dies at home, is he gonna be uh, testified as me? Probably not. They they probably hold out on the news until you get back from the tournament, and then if you have any injuries from the tournament, it will probably be he died from injuries at the tournament, not he died in his sleep at home. You know, that that make it a bit more noble. Then you'd have to live like a woman. Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shall we press on, people? Go to bed, go to the sleep. next morning. Go to the next morning. Right. The next morning, uh, we do a good Meg.